Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm here to talk about Workroom's recent update. It's a pretty big one, so strap in. We got a bunch of patch notes to read and get comfortable because I think you guys are going to like them. Starting off with this update, we have Advanced Creation Mode. Workroom says the Maker Pen Advanced Creation Mode for PC, keyboard, and mouse is now available to everyone. I made a few videos about it before. You guys can go check that out if you guys want. Anyways, they create faster than ever before with special hotkeys and professional workflows. Along with the full rollout, we will also have some fixes and improvements to advanced creation mode. They disabled the Maker Pen's radical shortcut menu when using advanced creation mode, added a close button to the full screen config menu in advanced creation mode to make it easier to dismiss, updated advanced creation mode tutorial so it can be completed, then they fixed the formatting on the gun handle config to fit in the advanced creation mode KBM config menu. Then they fixed a bug where advanced creation mode menus would flicker when working with compound objects. Basically, advanced creation mode has been out before, I've made a few videos videos about it already, but it seems like it's officially out to everyone now. Scooting over to general improvements, you guys will find that the Make It to Midnight progression screen will no longer show players empty placeholder rewards in addition to actual rewards for each level. They allow walk input mode swap when a VR player using teleport movement enters a walk only room. Players may not have to change their sprint input mode with auto sprint toggled on if they ever enter a room where the manual sprint is forced. The following CV2 event receiver configurations have been released from beta, which is the consumable purchased and room key purchased. Mood's concept ships have initial values derived from subroom presets. And lastly, a new local player name tag visibility chip that allows creators to control whenever the player sees the name tag of the target player. It takes the priority over the role settings. And for some strange reason, Requiem decided to actually kind of separate general improvements and bug fixes. It seems like there is a bit of both. They fixed a rare bug that would lock a player's movement when loading into a room, fixed a bug that caused Bunky's HUD to show up in Sharecam and Streamer Cam. Samurai Hat Adjustment Parameters updated not to cover the player's eyes, and the Shark Railgun fins now follow the reload animation in VR. They fixed radio voices from being 2.5D to 2D, and lastly, fixed crash that would happen when chips were extremely far away from that player. So we got a few general improvements and bug fixes, and to be honest, they're quite beefy this update. So I'm a fan of them, and I'm kind of glad that they're their own little separate things this time. What are your guys' thoughts? Be sure to let me know if any changes even affect you. But sadly, as we move on this Requiem update, Date, we are going over our last bit, the Requiem Studio bit of it. For the rest of this update, all we have is the Requiem Studio stuff, and it says, previously we added room settings, now we have subroom settings as well. Now you don't have to go to the tab into Rec Room to change specific subroom settings. They automatically fix certain project settings, such as which renderer is used if the settings have been changed, performance issues in Requiem Studio when opening the open and build menu, version number will now display in the Unity title bar, IL2CPP is is no longer required to test locally. Include a link to the screen share authorization application on room errors for not having proper permissions for video players. And lastly, they fixed the allow rec room object manager script to compile. And that's this entire Rec Room update. It was pretty beefy and bigger than our last few updates, so I'm a fan, and we got some much needed changes that we've been waiting for for a little while now. Either it be like in-game changes, UI changes, or even item skin changes, it happened this update. So of course, I'm going to be looking at your guys' comments and be looking at some opinions. Is this a good or bad update? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below, and to be quite honest, I'm liking this update. And I'll catch you guys all into the next news or update video. So of course, be sure to like, subscribe, and even consider supporting me any game at Code Skull if you guys really want to. Me and my fresh friends are gonna go, of course, and without any further ado, peace!